Time now, 838. Who's hungry? Good news. Kicking back with food paired with beer as we get ready for the 4th of July holiday. Detroit Beer Company has been rolling out a new menu to go with its craft brews. Joining us live now is Rodney Lubinsky. He's the executive chef at the Detroit Beer Company. Rodney, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. So tell me a little um, bit about the Detroit Beer Company. Uh, well, they've been around since 2003. Um, the owners are beautiful. The uh, company here, uh, they've been brewing beer uh, in-house uh, this whole time, uh, even through the uh, pandemic break. Um, the wait staff, the management, everybody here is just absolutely wonderful. Now, we've heard about wine pairings. Obviously, that's a pretty common thing, but I'm curious what you have there. We're talking about beer pairings today. Those all look like delicious menu items. Talk to me about what they would go with and how you would approach pairing. Uh, well, first off, we have the Broadway, uh, Broadway Lager. This is one of our house favorites. We use this in uh, most of our food. Um, this goes good with uh, usually like uh, red meats or the salads. Um, this one here, we have the Detroit Dwarf, which is a very rich, malty uh, amber ale. Um, and then we have a nice good summer uh, called the Hefe. And uh, this is a, uh, a wheat beer, uh, which goes good with, uh, well, our white lasagna, our just spinach based lasagna over uh, marinara. Um, some of our side foods, uh, we have a beer cheese soup because uh, you have to have a beer cheese soup at a brewery. Uh, and next so we have our... Uh, oh, sorry about that, Rodney. There was a little bit of a delay there. Keep going. You were running through oh, those yeah. menu items. Yeah, keep going there. Uh, okay, uh, and then we have our green on green salad. Uh, this is a spinach based. Uh, uh, we use a green goddess uh, dressing on it, which is a very herbaceous, uh, very creamy dressing. Uh, it's uh, lots of, you know, green on green. Um, Another favorite that we got on the menu now is our soft shell uh, crab tacos um, and uh, desserts. Uh, we have uh, actually one of our very few items that we do not make in house uh, is our lemon lavender tort, uh, which are made by the good people at uh, uh, the Rising Stars Academy at Centerline. Uh, so but our featured, our featured meal uh, that we're going to do today is the meatball. Uh, which we start off with a uh, base of polenta, very creamy, uh, very aromatic, rosemary and garlic. Uh, our 12 ounce meatball. And Rod Rodney, here. as you're making that, can you kind of walk us through how you decide what dish would pair well with a beer? Like what's that process like? Um, it usually goes down to the base flavors of the beer. Um, uh, like multi beers you usually go with uh, like more uh, seasonal, uh, seasonal fares like, uh, like like the meatball would go great with um, wheat beers. You can usually do that with uh, lighter lighter fare, uh, like the desserts um, or the soups. Uh, and the Broadway uh, pretty much goes with everything you can everything you can possibly put on a table. Um, our twelve ounce meatball uh, is lamb and uh, ground beef. Uh, we use binders such as panko and uh, sesame uh, sesame seeds. Um, and also with the sesame seeds, we make our pesto, uh, which brings a, a nice little pesto waterfall. And uh, Oh, I love the color on that, too, how bright that is. That looks great. Uh, yep, we use the sunflower seeds to take out the uh, nut allergen, so uh, it's uh, more friendly to uh, people who have certain allergies. Uh, then a little bit more marinara. And Rodney, and then, remind me again, what kind of beer would this meatball pair best with? Uh, probably the Detroit Dwarf. Nice, hearty, malty. And then we finish everything off with a deep fried basil leaf. I just love the presentation on that. The color is enough to make me want to order that dish. And I'm sure it tastes <laughs> absolutely delicious too. Yes, we've been uh, having a lot of good uh, reports on this. Now tell our viewers yeah. where they can find you, um, where you're located. Uh, I know you're on Broadway right there in Detroit near Comerica Park. Uh, yes, we're at 1529 Broadway, uh, directly across from the Detroit Opera House. Fantastic. And, uh, yeah, yeah. And so we've been uh, we've been uh, waiting for uh, everybody to come out of their uh, out of their hiding shells and uh, come and come visit us. Right, as we all kind of escape from hibernation, they're getting back to normal. Great time to come and check you out, and you can head to DetroitBeerCompany.com as well. Rodney Lubinsky, executive chef at Detroit Beer Company. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.